Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to perform swift cut operation on the cylinder uh, in FreeCAD. So let's start with part workbench. And here uh, we create a tube. This icon, let's use it. And let's set some um, parameters for our tube. Let's choose um, the outer radius. It will be inner radius will be 25, for example. Out maybe inner will be 24, and for outer 25, and height will be 100. So for and uh, press OK. And this is a parametrical model of the tube. Uh, for this tube, uh, we will create a sum swift cat operation here so um, the next uh, step will be creation of um, a body which we want to get from our tube let's go to primitives create primitive and here we can choose a helix so let's use a helix let's set some parameters for the helix let's set the pitch to be 100 millimeters uh, height will be 75 let's try these parameters and radius uh, let's set some bigger than we have for our tube press create after that let's close it and here you have your helix um, primitive and let's uh, change the position of our tube in that direction here I think let's go let's change it in some not much value let's set 10 millimeters and let's set a negative so now we have a good position for our uh, helix and after that let's create one else helix for creation of the uh, surface so let's create a copy we can make a copy using ctrl c ctrl v and it uh, very easy to make a copy of some um, object on this tree i just use this copy and after that i just make a paste ctrl c ctrl v if you use a hot case okay and here for our helix second helix let's change um, the radius and let's use some smaller value of radius let's set i think um, 20, 20 millimeters will be enough so let's check like where we have our helix first and second and uh, let's hide a tube use a space button and here we have our helixes for this let's create a surface between them let's use first and second helix and uh, click to this icon it will to it uh, this tool create a rolled surface between this if you have some troubles with shape use change you can change the orientation for example if i use forward it's a correct direction if i used uh, reversed i have um not right position of our for our shape and you can change this to this if you have something like this um, shape of our, your surface let's use a forward direction and let's activate visibility of t 
YouTube, press space button on keyboard, and after that, uh, let's for real surface, let's create a thickness, convert our 2D surface to 3D solid body. Let's use 3D offset operation and here we have um, one parameter it's a offset let's set the thickness of this uh, and use for example 8 millimeters and you have to activate fill offset it will create a solid body press ok and now we have a two uh, different uh, bodies here and for our body here let's uh, check it how it looks here I think it looks good and uh, let's make a field operation for these edges this this and for another side let's choose these two uh, edges and click field operation icon but uh, click cancel because I use this uh, I choose this reload surface here just press space button to hide it and we have to use field operation for offset body but of course we also have to uh, hide this helix and second helix because it, we can to choose here not a offset we can choose here roller surface or helix curve and we have to hide it after some operations so let's use this offset and let's choose and just here uh, click field icon and here you can see that for this body we have all uh, edges uh, for this and we have to activate this and one else these edges we have activated four edges and let's set the value of our radius for field we will be used four because uh, all thickness of this is eight and some of these two will be eight also so let's choose this four choose this four millimeters and press ok and how can you see we have um, our our body of build um, with field operations here it's called field here so let's um, perform the last operation it will be the boolean operation between these two bodies let's choose the tube like a master uh, body and like slave body let's use field and after that let's press cut operation uh, between two shapes okay and how can you see here we have this uh, very simple operation um, for our cylinder swept uh, use curves of helix okay after that you can save the project or you can export this model use this cut and export this model to STL or step format and use it use it in another CAD software so uh, it's a finish so thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye